I'll start with Arabic briefly. Allah huwa al-ma'luhu al-ma'budu dhu uluhiyya wa al-ubudiyya ala khalqih ajma'in lima attasafa bih min sifat al-uluhiyya alati hiya sifat al-kamal. Tafadun. Allah, he is the one and only deity, the one who is worshipped, the one who deserves to be worshipped by the whole of his creation. This is due to the perfect and beautiful godly attributes that he is described with. Allah la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum la ta'akhuduhu sinatun wa la nawm lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard man dha alladhi yashfa'u indahu illa bi-idhnih ya'lamu ma bayna aydihim wa ma khalfahum wa la yuhiituna bi shay'in min 'ilmihi illa bima sha' wa si'a kursiyyuhu as-samawati wal ard wa la ya'uduhu hifdhuhuma wa huwa al-'aliyyu al-'azim Allah there is none worthy of worship but He, the living, the self-sustaining. He is not subject to drowsiness or to Him belongs whatsoever is in the heavens and earth. Who is there that can intercede with Him except with His permission? He knows what is before them and what is behind them, but they cannot encompass anything of His knowledge except that which He wills. His footstool encompasses the heavens and the earth, and he feels no fatigue in preserving them. He is the Most High, the Most Great. So the name, Lafzul Jalala, the lofty name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most frequent name in the Qur'an. This name, it is A'zam wa akhassul asma lillahi tabarak wa ta'ala, the most specific of names of Allah, the most greatest of them. In fact, a group of the scholars such as Al-Tahawi, wa Abdullah ibn Mubarak, wa Ibn al-Arabi, wa Turtushi, and a group of them have said the greatest name of Allah in absolute sense is Lafzul Jalal Allah. As'aluka bi'annaka anta Allah. I ask you being that you're Allah. It is what he starts with before mentioning other of his names. For this reason, a group of the scholars said it is the greatest name of Allah that you can ask with. A'zamul ism. And it is what all the attributes of Jamal wa Kamal wa the Jalal, the loftiness and beauty and perfection go back to this name. Terji' jami'ul ma'ani wa sifat all of the main meanings of the names of Allah go back to this name. Because he possesses all these qualities, it means that he is Allah. And Ibn Abbas said, Dhu uluhiyya. When he explained the meaning of Allah, the word Allah, what did he say? The possessor of worship. The one who deserves to be worshipped because of his beautiful names and attributes. Because he possesses all these qualities, he deserves to be worshipped. So it is a title for Allah that he deserves uluhiyya. This is Tawheed uluhiyya, brothers. If you want to increase on this, know the meaning of the name of Allah. And we're going to come and mention shortly the difference between the word Allah, the name of Allah, and the name Al-Ilah. 